Welcome to a wet but wonderful Donington Park. This really is one of the very best racetracks we have here in the UK. It's fast, it's flowing and it's loads of fun. I'm here to give you a few tips and techniques on how you can get the best out of your track time. And I'm going to be doing it on this bike here, Suzuki's GSX-R 1000R that we've equipped with Dunlop Sportsmart TTs. First up is Redgate, which will approach from the left side of the track using the triangular pit lane exit as a braking marker. Don't be tempted to turn in too early or you'll run out of track on the exit. The apex is where the service road joins the track and it pays to hook the bend a little longer so you can get the bike stood up and fired out with a good drive down to Hollywood. Hollywood is a double apex right-hander which will try to suck you in but hold off on the first apex by about a metre, focusing on the second. Craner is a notorious speedy corner that is easy to get wrong. It pays to hold a neutral throttle to help with the balance of the bike as you flow into the fast left-hander, apexing later at the kerb, drifting out to the middle of the circuit as you build in more throttle. Pull your bike back over to the left on the approach to the old hairpin, opening up the fast corner before building the throttle as you tick off the apex, being careful not to run too wide on the exit. The pace remains fast as you fire into Starkeys, meeting the apex mid-rumble strip, powering hard uphill and working through the gears, slowly drifting out to the edge of the track on the run to Swans. This is one of the fastest and most gutsy corners on the circuit, turning just before the end of the kerb on the right-hand side, aiming for the middle of the kerb on the left rumble strip, before chopping the throttle and positioning yourself to the left to open up McLean's, breaking on the approach to the right-hander. McLean's is crucial for the run up to Coppice, so focus on hugging the apex before getting the bike stood up and driving hard uphill on the exit. Stick wide to the left on the approach to Coppice, which is blind and tricky as you decelerate for the relatively slow corner. You'll want to turn in just before the crest, apex in tight against the inside kerb before drifting wide on the throttle and meeting a second apex on the exit onto the back straight, getting the bike as upright as possible as you power yourself down the Dunlop straight. When you're not lining up a pass, you'll typically hug the right side white line on the run into foggy S's, using the tarmac change or 200 board for your braking markers, aiming to screw off plenty of speed before pitching into the left, running the white line before flicking right, and even running the rumble strip in the drive for a stonking exit towards Melbourne. This fast, tricky, and blind downhill section can easily catch you out. The only real reference for braking is the start of the rumble strip on the left as you go over the crest and Melbourne comes into sight. Scrub off plenty of speed, not rushing your back shift to avoid backing in. The turning point is the start of the white kerb on the right and the aim is to apex mid-corner holding the kerb before standing the bike up and drifting to the outside of the track as you power down the next straight. Goddard's is one of the trickiest corners on the circuit. Don't overcook it going in, using the service road on the right as a reference, apex in two-thirds round the off-camber bend, aiming to get the brunt of your turning done before tackling the change in tarmac to avoid washing the front. From here, it's a case of standing the bike up and powering hard onto the start straight, drifting out to the kerbs in the dry. Hopefully, these pointers will come in handy next time you're at Donington. The weather might not have been kind to us, but Suzuki's GSX-R 1000R and Dunlop Sport Smart TT still meant I had a corker of the time. 